Hello, charge controller for solar circuits. Let's try to understand the circuit first and then we will switch over to the simulation part of it and its functioning. Uh, we have a solar panel which is typically a current source. So we have taken a current source. Uh, then we have uh, some diode arrangements here so that uh, when this transistor is switched on, this could be a MOSFET also. When this is switched on, the solar panel current is diverted and it doesn't go this side. If it is not switched on, the solar panel power comes here, it powers the circuit and also charges the battery. If only if this is off. And for that, if this is to be on, this has to be on. And then we have a set of comparators for certain indications and certain functions. Finally, we have one more MOSFET here for the load which is to be switched on and switched off depending on the conditions. The conditions in a charge controller are when there is a voltage which is increasing beyond the voltage of the battery, the charging should stop. That is by this arrangement. Then we have the low battery setting. That means when the battery becomes low, it is advisable to switch off the load. So this is how the setting takes care and this MOSFET switches off the load. And also deep discharge. Deep discharge meaning when the current exceeds the capacity of the battery, this also load gets disconnected. And that is by removing the drive from this MOSFET. So this is how the whole thing uh, is explained but now we will switch over to its functioning in terms of actual op let us now try to understand the battery charging section the battery charging section as we discussed instead of the transistor here we have switched we have replaced it by a MOSFET and there is a switch and let's try to understand this see what happens when as we say that if this gate of the MOSFET is biased then this conducts in the process this current will flow through this MOSFET and no power will flow from the solar panel to the circuit or to the battery. We will see this and uh, rest all are uh, a set of comparators. Comparators, operational amplifiers used as comparators and comparators as we know the very simple concept when non-inverting input is more than the inverting input the output is equal to 1. So this is the formula. Let us call it plus and minus non-inverting as plus and inverting as minus. So when plus vo uh, voltage at plus terminal is more than the voltage at minus terminal, the output is equal to 1. That means this point will be 1. 1 means the supply voltage. We call it logic 1. Now let's see how it functions. Now once we try to operate this, what we notice is that if I have an arrangement of here of changing the battery voltage, that battery, this is the battery voltage. As the battery goes on charging, the arrangement is such that the voltage goes on increasing. Now, this is typically about say 12.3 volt battery. And what we had done, now supposing when the, uh, now the charging uh, current is feeding directly to the battery and this is not conducting. So you find the current. So the current remains zero as far as the bypass current remains zero because this being a current source, we can always short circuit. Uh, the output which is short circuited by this MOSFET. Uh, this is indicated by this LED that it is in the charging mode now because the current is now coming to the battery for charging the battery. Uh, these are the comparator arrangements what we have done. The very simple concept where we comparators meaning this is the non-inverting input, this is the inverting input. Let's call it plus and minus. So when plus voltage at this point is more than the minus voltage the output is equal to one one meaning logic one or the supply source the supply source whatever may be the voltage so what we notice here that this is an arrangement where we have set the voltage now what you can see in this particular uh, minus terminal the voltage is about 2.56 volts whereas in the plus terminal the voltage is 2.2 volts uh, this is derived out of four diodes there are four silicon control di uh, silicon diodes only four silicon diodes in from the supply line here whatever with the supply voltage here we have a 12.3 volt here as per the battery is concerned and uh, through this diode it reaches here through these series registers and then these four diodes biased these are silicon diodes so about 0.6 into 4 0.6 into 4 is the voltage so you get about 2.5 volt here 
roughly about 2.5 volt. This is a voltage which will never change because this is a constant voltage. This voltage is fed to the reference volt for reference purposes to the comparator. Now this voltage is fed through the series register and uh, nearly we get about same 2.5 volt here at the minus terminal. And in the plus terminal, it is the voltage setting which can be done here as far as the to when to stop the charging. Similarly, this point also is given about 2.5 volts. So both the terminals are given minus terminals are given the reference voltage. That means the voltage which is derived out of these four silicon diodes. Now the positive terminal is and this output this is used for the indication only whereas this is used for switching on this transistor. When will this switch on? When this becomes high that means when plus is more than minus output is equal to 1 so when this becomes high so this transistor conducts this transistor conducts means the current starts flowing this way and once the current starts flowing this way so there will be a voltage drop here and that voltage drop biases this MOSFET and in the MOSFET in the in the process conducts so while it is charging mode this is in the charging mode in the charging mode we ensure that the pin number 1 that means output of this has to be 0 Otherwise, if it is 1, it starts conducting and bypassing the current. So, it has to be 0. 0 meaning, we set this voltage in such a way that plus is less than minus, so output is equal to 0. So, what we notice here, we have the reference voltage which is given about 2.5 volt at this terminal and at this terminal, we have adjusted in such a way that this voltage is given here about 2.2 volts here. This is about 2.2 volt, that means plus is less than minus. So output is equal to 0, 0 means this transistor doesn't conduct, this transistor doesn't conduct meaning the current from the current source of the solar panel through this diode charges the battery and also to certain extent supplies to the circuit. Now let's, we have an arrangement here of increasing the battery voltage. How the battery voltage is increased? Now because this is a 12 volt battery and if we go on increasing this voltage, if we, uh, as the solar panel goes on charging, the battery voltage goes on increasing. Let's see when we increase the voltage. Now we increase the voltage to 12.45. It is still charging. The indication is also given in the similar fashion. It is now you can see the uh, reference voltage here is 2.5 volts and uh, this voltage positive is less than my negative. So this is zero. Zero means the LED starts glowing this way. Starts from positive, passes through this and glows this way. This LED doesn't glow because this is at zero. This is at zero and this is at zero and battery charging is taking place. Now I still go on increasing the voltage. Now it is going to 12.6, go to 12.75, it is still charging and go to 12.9 and so on till 13.5, 13.2. Let's notice what is happening to this voltage. This is 2.5 and uh, the reference voltage is 2.4. Okay. Minus is still higher than plus. Now the voltage suppose goes on increasing. 13.5. Let us see this voltage. Watch this voltage. This is the reference. Uh, this is the voltage which is set and this is the voltage, the reference voltage 2.5. Now we still increase the voltage. 13.65, this still 0 and 0, we still increase 13.8, 13.95, 14.1, it is still 0. So the battery is still getting charged. Now, what notice is that moment we increase the voltage to 14.4, which is actually the cutoff voltage for any battery, 12 volt battery for charging to stop, otherwise the battery will uh, have a permanent damage. So what happens now, this voltage at this point is 2.59, whereas the, 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 the reference voltage is 2.59 and the set voltage by this, what we find is 2.6. Now, plus is more than minus, output is equal to 1. When this becomes 1, that means current starts flowing from the base emitter circuit as per simple circuit in a transistor operation. So the current flows in this path. There is a voltage drop across this resistor. This voltage drop biases uh, the MOSFET. In the process, the MOSFET switches on. Once the MOSFET switches on, this current starts flowing this way and bypasses the current. Battery current cannot flow this way because we have a blocking diode here. So battery continues to supply the power to this side, whereas the solar panel is bypassed through this MOSFET. And that is how we take care of the overcharging of the battery. So this is the setting voltage, you can, one can even lower the setting voltage. Like for example, now if we 
lower the voltage. Like for example, if I, if I put it at this way and let us see what is happening. What we notice is at even at lesser voltage, it goes on to charging mode. Now see at 12.75, it is charging and 12.9, 13.5, 12.8, 13.5, I'd say 13.8 is going to charge more. That means this becomes high. When this becomes high, the LED starts glowing. So similarly, this becomes high, the bypass current, and uh, in the process, what we notice, the current, one ampere current, because it's a current source which are taken about one ampere, the current starts flowing, bypassing the battery charging arrangement. So this is what the first section of the circuit, what we had seen in the beginning. The beginning, uh, the full circuit is this. We have the charging section. We have divided into two parts for explanation purposes. This is the section which we have just discussed. We will discuss the balance section subsequently. Next. Now let's look at the second session. The second portion. Second portion is what we have a load here. We have a MOSFET as we said. MOSFET is used as a switch here for switch on the load. It could be anything. And we have a switch for operating the load whether uh, at our desire. So let's keep the switches on position. And uh, we have the same arrangement here because we know that the battery voltage is responsible because this, this charge control is responsible for four or five points when that is the battery should not be overcharged. Battery should have a low battery setting. That means when the battery voltage falls below a certain particular voltage, the load should switch off and battery um, overload setting. Overload setting meaning that the battery has a capacity to de to deliver. Now if it gives much more than that, the battery also gets a bad life. So what happens? We have a overdrawn uh, battery arrangement. We call it deep discharge. The deep discharge arrangement is by this. Again, we have set it, taken a set of comparators. We have disconnected some uh, LED here for the purpose of simulation. We have the same section. We have four silicon diodes where the voltage is uh, derived and uh, kept constant here. And then we have the other standard arrangements and then the comparators as we have discussed. Here, once this voltage is available, then only the MOSFET switches on, the load is switched on. And if this voltage is not available, then the MOSFET is going to switch off. How? Now, when this point becomes zero, by the logic provided here, this voltage will be diverted to zero and so this voltage will vanish when this voltage is vanishing the switch opens and when this voltage is when this is high this is reverse biased and in this process this current doesn't flow here and uh, this voltage now supposing this voltage this is high how this is high the plus has to be more than minus in the process when this is high the switch closes and the load is operating so we'll see all this function when we try to operate this so what we notice now the lamp is switched on but we can find the lamp is switched on and uh, what we find the voltage is again 2.44 volts or nearly same, same voltage specified voltage that we had and uh, what we have now the voltage is 13.4 volts now let's see the low voltage setting first now supposing the battery voltage falls because if the load is used drawing current and the battery voltage falls now once the battery voltage falls goes on falling what we notice this is the uh, this is the low battery setting we can see the voltage here it is 2.9 volts vis-a-vis 2.4 volts minus is a 2.4 volts and plus is a 2.9 volts so output is equal to 1 1 meaning this is switched on uh, this is this is switched on and uh, similarly this is also 1 I mean this is 1 this is reverse biased wow this is 1 and this is 0.7 volt plus is at 0.7 volts minus is at 0.2 volts where from this 0.2 volt comes we will discuss a little later and uh, we find there is a gate voltage about 11 volts, 11.9 volts in the process the MOSFET is on and this is switched on, load is switched on. Now we still reduce the volt uh, battery voltage because of the load, the battery voltage is falling. Now you can, you can, you can, you can see this voltage 2.4, 2.7. Now further falls, the manufacturer says that once the battery voltage falls about 2. Point, about 10.98 volts you see about when it falls about 10.98 volts the load is switched off how because this is now 2.19 plus is less than minus minus is 2.3 volts when plus is less than minus output is equal to zero when this is zero that means this voltage is not available so we find certain about some zero voltage here when this is zero voltage naturally the mosfet is switched off and uh, this is also further indicated by 
the arrangement here that we have is this comparator. This comparator is for the deep discharge. Deep discharge meaning every MOSFET has uh, a parameter across its drain and source. This is called RDS. Resistance from drain to source. This is drain, this is source, this is gate. Now, as you go on drawing more current, since this is a R, this is typically a resistor, the current goes on increasing, the voltage drop across this goes on increasing. Once the voltage drop across uh, goes on increasing, this voltage is fed to this, that means minus becomes more than plus whatever setting has been done here in the process, this diode conducts. Once this diode conducts, whatever voltage is available here, that is being diverted by this diode to the ground. So this is deprived of any voltage. Once this is deprived of the voltage, this tends to switch this off. So what we have discussed, the arrangements are like, and all these are setting voltages, what we are doing from the um, reference voltage. From the reference voltage we take, we know how to set the voltage at a particular requirement that we have. Similarly, from the same reference voltage we are taking, and uh, this is the supply voltage which is coming, and the, because we have to check the supply voltage as far as the comparison is concerned, we have taken the checking of the supply voltage through this line, and uh, we have made the setting in this way, in such a way that as long as the voltage is more than 10 point, or as long as the voltage is more than certain voltage, now say 11 volts, we find a lamp starts glowing. And uh, so this is how the low battery setting is done and the deep discharge is done and what we have discussed earlier as far as its functioning of overcharging of the battery is done is achieved. And this is what is the typical function of a charge controller, solar charge controller. Thank you.